so this is the end of my hat I'll show you this is how one side is I told you that they usually don't end up the same and then this is how the other side ended up looking so I'll show you how I finish it off so I gotta put on seven on there here. An apple. Okay. Five. Six, seven. And then you do ten. One. Two. So there's seven oh. and since there's it doesn't go all the way down so I'll have to just guess how many are left. Um, I want to say maybe I'm supposed to put nine, but I'll probably put seven. I'll see if seven fits. And we'll see. Sorry, it's nighttime now and my kids are being really loud. And I watch the TV. Uh, settling down for the night but I'm trying to get this done so let's see um, I might take off a bead not sure Let's just see how it goes. If I stick that, no. So I'm just gonna put six in there. And I'll show you how I do this. So I'm not sure if I'm going to add another one in there, like on the side of it. Because, sorry, it looks like. It looks like I can push them over some to fill in that gap. So let's see how it looks. It's down. Yeah, I guess I can fill in the gap. And then I just add some right there. Or I don't know. Maybe I can. I could probably fit in another one. Let's see. So. I'm just gonna stick it right where did I see that one? Let's stick it. It's right there. Right now it doesn't really matter where it pokes up. You can always poke it back through and readjust. I'll show you. So as long as you have that on there like that, I'll probably end up adding another row even though it's not really going to be even, but it's fine. Or I can just add another gold. I'll probably just add another gold. Um, piece you know like white then three gold 
So I'll probably do that. And for this part, I just... Stick it back through. And I'll try to see where I need to stick it through. Probably, um, let's see, probably right there, uh, no, maybe there. Probably right there, so and then I'll probably need two white. And then seven. Now let's see how this turns out. Pretty good. Poke it through right there. Now there will be these spaces because it's just spaces. Um, so that looks pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna try and tie a knot right here because I want to. Oh, here comes the loudest kids in the world. Pico's mother. Thank you. This so straight, bro. I do, just not right now. Thank you.
Over the phone. So I did want to show you really quick what I did, um, how I tied off my end. I don't know if I show it in my previous videos, but I'm going to upload this one as part three because it's basically like the end of my hat and how I um, do it. I'm sure there's different ways, but this is just how I found it. See, they really didn't line up. Um, so when I tie a knot, I just basically go through anywhere, like say I want to go through here and then I just poke it through the other side and then I poke it back through wherever, um, you, you can't really see where I poke through. I poke through a few times, uh, maybe if I move them, I, I'd be able to see them, but you won't see the little stitch. So I basically like poke through in between the line of beads and then I make another little loop to go back down. So it's like not noticeable. And then what I do is I just, um, I just tie a knot. So, oh, sorry, I keep moving this. I need to get a new tripod or set up. And I just tie a knot. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it helps with the fill in, you know, like these little gaps. Like, I think there's a knot. I'm not sure where I tied it off. Um, but yeah, I just, oh, there's the knot right there. So I tied it off. I did like three, um, what are they called? Like, um, square knots. I did three square knots really tight. And then what I do is I just go through, like right beside the knot, I'll go through, like say the knot's right here, and I'll just go through the, the, um, the hat, like inside, like halfway, or you can go all the way down. And I just go through like that, and I pull the string so it's like the tail is getting hidden and I'll do that and then I'll just snip it and then I'll usually use a lighter to um let me see if I could find my tail if I'm that good to see um the tail was out here somewhere let me know if you can see it but yeah the tail came out and I just used a lighter I think it's right there somewhere um i'm not really sure it's so well hidden that you can't really even see it <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's it right there like at the end of this yep that's it see it it's the end of that last um gold bead so it's right there and i 
singed it off so it just wherever my needle went through I just poked it through and you can't see it the tail will be hidden off and yeah you can go through a few times if you want if you think you're rough with hats or whatever but yeah this is the finished look um, my desk disclaimer my desk is really messy right now because I've been working really hard on projects and yeah so this is the finished hat well it's not really finished I'm working on it still I'm putting some sequin brass beads the old time ones and they are expensive um, yeah so I'm just doing it around like that Sorry, my dishwasher is going, if you can hear it. It's like always going. And this is from Forever 21. It's size small, medium. So it's kind of a smaller hat, but what I'm doing right here is I'm just going through like, I don't know if I'm able to see it. I'm just going through like this, packing them down inside. I'll, I will, um, Just like that and then I go through the brass sequin I go through the brass sequin go through the bead and then go back through the sequin and go back out into the next one if that makes sense but yes I'm so excited I'm about to set this up for a waffle on um, Instagram and my Facebook so it'll be up today I just want to hurry up and get this done. So this will be part three. <clears throat> Excuse me, part three. And um, so, you know, like on the YouTube thing, it'll show like on my feed. So it'll show three, two, and one, hopefully, because I have um, how to do other things for all the questions on how to like start out, how to tie it off, how I start the next row and stuff like that. So. And how many beads I use. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, yeah, bye.